Joining a show like this is clearly, you know, just nuts. If you are just joining the Stranger Things cast in season four, you have to make it big and you have to make it good. Joseph Quinn absolutely nailed it with his introduction of the latest Stranger Things edition, Metalhead Dungeons and Dragons master Eddie Munson. Quinn's character was an instant hit with fans and ever since it came out, I have been seeing that luscious curly hair everywhere I look. The second half of season four premieres on July 1st, and I'm curious to know if the second half will be as good as the first. If you didn't know the name Joseph Quinn before, it will be a name you soon won't be able to forget. Will Quinn ride the wave of fame into his next big hit, or will he be a one hit wonder? Today we are talking Joseph Quinn, tomorrow you decide. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and let us know in the comments below who you want to see next time on Where Are They Now? Joseph Quinn is an English actor born on May 15, 1993 in London, England. Quinn revealed in an interview that he has been acting since he was just a little one. He said that when he was in preschool, he was in a play and hasn't stopped since. He attended Independent Emmanuel School from 2007 to 2012, and while he was there, he was awarded a scholarship as part of their Drama Scholar program. This meant he would get money off of his fees as long as he was acting there. While in his final year of high school, one of the plays he participated in was taken to Edinburgh, Scotland. That same year, he was accepted into the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Arts. He attended the drama school at the Academy for three years and then graduated in 2015. LAMDA is a very famous school in London. Their graduates work regularly at the Royal National Theatre, the Royal Shakespeare Company, Shakespeare Globe, and the theatres of London's West End, as well as on the BBC, HBO, and Broadway. Their alumni as of 2022 have accumulated five Academy Awards, 12 Tonys, 15 Emmys, and 19 Golden Globes, just to name a few. Joseph himself was one of the lucky ones who got straight to work after school. After graduating, he was cast as the main role of Arthur Havisham in the BBC One television series Dickensian, which premiered in December of 2015. He's also acted on the London stage at the National Theatre and Off West End. 2017 was a big year for Quinn. He starred in another period piece, the four-part series Howard's End as Leonard Bast, a young bank clerk, alongside Hayley Atwell. He was in a British sitcom called Time Wasters about a group going back in time into the 1920s. He played Ralph and the series lasted for two seasons. Quinn stated that he enjoys acting in period pieces because he feels like there is something timeless about the human experience. No matter what year it is, people fall in love, they get angry, they have insecurities, etc. From January 11th to February 11th, 2017, he starred in a play called The Wish List at the Royal Court Theatre after its critically acclaimed run at the Royal Exchange in Manchester. This play is about a young woman balancing a crappy packing job while simultaneously caring for her brother Dean, played by Joseph, who has crippling OCD. Later in the year, he appeared in another play, Mosquitoes, by Lucy Kirkwood. It ran from July to September of 2017 at the National Theatre in London. Also in 2017, he appeared in season 7 of Game of Thrones as Conor. The following year, Quinn played Andrew Raz in the BBC TV adaption of Les Miserables that came out in 2018 and consisted of 6 episodes. In 2019, he got the role of Eddie for Stranger Things season 4, and he landed it after just 2 self-tape auditions, no chemistry reads and no meetings, so he must have been made for the role. Also in 2019, he acted alongside Helen Mirren in the HBO's Catherine the Great as the Queen's son, Sarvich Paul. He described his experience working with Helen as an immense privilege. In 2020, he was in the film titled Makeup and he played Tom. Quinn has expressed in interviews before how grateful he is to be able to act as a career and doesn't know where he would be without acting. So where is he now? Most recently, Joseph debuted his latest character, Eddie Munson, in Stranger Things Season 4, Volume 1. Quinn revealed that to prepare for the metalhead, dungeon master, satanic panic role, he listened to a lot of music. He stated that he did pick up a D&D book, but didn't get far in his research of that or the satanic panic. Music is what really got him into the Eddie Munson state of mind. He mentioned specifically Black Sabbath, Metallica, Dio, and his vocal coach Mary Howland, helping him become Eddie the most. The Duffer Brothers, who are creators of Stranger Things, referred to this season as their Game of Thrones season and cast Joseph after seeing him in the show. Quinn himself agreed that this season is very Game of Thrones-esque. 
Eddie has quickly become a fan favorite character on the show, and with that, Joseph has become a fan favorite actor. Before the premiere of the season, Quinn did not have an Instagram account, but since making one to promote the show in May, he now has 2.5 million followers. Quinn will be in the much anticipated release of season 4, volume 2, which comes out July 1st. When asked if he will be back for the fifth and final season of Stranger Things, he responded with, quote, I'll be furious if they don't bring me back. He then laughed and said, I'd love to if they'll have me. He also has another project lined up. He has most recently been working on the upcoming movie, Horde. It is directed by Luna Cameroon and is an independent British film with a small budget. He describes it as something different and feral and is excited for people to see it because he feels there is definitely something something special about Luna Cameroon. So what do you think? Will Quinn make it to season 5 or will he be left in the upside down? Let me know your thoughts on Joseph Quinn in the comments below. I have been your host Maddie. Give this video a like, subscribe and let us know who you want to see next time on Where Are They Now?